afternoon. Today I'm going to show how to use the KSHIELD's FX570EX classic calculator to obtain the dominant eigenvalue lambda 1 using power method. Okay, as you know, for a n by n matrix, we have n eigenvalue. So in this new video, we are going to determine the dominant eigenvalue, is actually the largest magnitude is such that the magnitude of a lambda 1 greater than lambda 2 greater than the magnitude lambda n. Okay, for each k eigenvalue, we have a corresponding eigenvector such that if we have the k a b equal to lambda v. Okay, a b equal to lambda v, where the v is eigenvector, okay, lambda is a eigenvalue. So to determine the dominant eigenvalue using power method, it is actually the eigenvector at the step k plus 1 is equal to 1 over m k plus 1 a b at the step k. Let the k start from 0, 1, 2 and so on. Then given v naught k, we can determine when k is 0, given the initial eigenvector and then multiply it by k matrix a, we can determine k we can determine so, uh, the B K eigenvector at step number 1 where the M K plus 1 is the maximum absolute value of K A B K. So the iteration is iterated okay, with a given initial K eigenvector B naught until the modulus of the M K plus 1 minus M K less than epsilon then the dominant eigenvalue is actually lambda 1 is equal to mk plus 1 and its corresponding eigenvector it is at the v1 equal to the v at the step k plus 1. Okay. For example, given the matrix A equal to 4, 3, 0, 3, 4, negative 1, 0, negative 1 and 4, use a power method to find the dominant eigenvalue lambda 1 and its corresponding eigenvector V1 or metric A using the initial eigenvector V0 equal to 1, 1, 0 transpose because vectors in column to save the A or space we make it go so it should not transpose sort the iteration until M modulus MK plus 1 minus MK less than or equal to 0 0.005 because we are going to use for A or decimal place So first step is actually we fill in the initial eigenvector, we turn into the row scale to save the space. So given 1, 1, 0, okay. So given 1, 1, 0, so we are going to calculate uh, using power method. So your V at step number 1 will be okay, 1 over M, uh, K plus 1, so M1, okay, A, B, 0. Where the M1 is the okay, is the maximum value of your A B nodes. Okay. So basically, okay, we are going to do the metric multiplication of metric A with the vector B. So what's our matrix A? Metric A, metric A. So it's 4, 3, 0, 3, 4, negative 1, 0, negative 1, and 4. Conscape in here, we are going to use in Vector menu, which is number 5, is on the vector menu. Okay, matrix menu. Okay, matrix menu, number 4. It will define the matrix A as A in your calculator, okay, which is 3 rows. Column is 3. So input the matrix A, element by element, okay, start from first row. 4, 3, 0, 3, 4, negative 1. After press each element, uh, key in each element, it type in the uh, key in the equal, 0, equal, negative 1, equal, 4, equal. It's actually the metric A is 4, 3, 0, 3, 4, negative 1, 0, negative 1, and 4. 
Okay, we key in the metric A in A in the matrix menu. Key in the B, okay, V naught as a metric B as 110. Okay, but make sure this is a column. 110 is a vector form. So, we define metric B. So, define metric number 1. We define the metric B to choose number 2. Okay, number of rows is 3, number of columns is 1, so we have 1, 1, 0. So we have input metric A in A, but the V not as metric B. This is input in B in the calculator. So options. If you want to edit matrix, you can choose number 2. If you want to add, edit matrix A, and then you just edit it. Otherwise, option that say edit to check the metric B. Okay, one one zero correct one one zero. Okay, now we are going to use okay B one. Okay, B one is one over M one A B naught. So we are going to find here A B naught. Okay, K start from zero. You fill in here your B naught is one one zero. Okay, we are going to get the result of your a, B, not. A is a 3 by 3 matrix. B is a 3 by 1. So 3 equal to 3. So the result is a 3 by 1 vector. So again here we turn to rows. That's why we mentioned this is A, B, K transpose. Huh? So I'm going to use okay, the matrix menu to perform this iterative calculation of A, B, K quickly. So you go to option. Okay, we want to do metric calculation number three. Okay. So, options. Sorry, so here. Three. Metric A multiply. Three, uh, sorry, three. Options. Metric A multiply metric B. So you get the result seven, seven, negative one. Okay, seven, seven, negative one. Then what is the okay, MK plus 1? How do we get the MK plus 1? MK plus 1 is the maximum absolute value of AVK. Okay, maximum absolute value. Okay, so maximum absolute value will be 7. Okay, and then we either vector at step number 1 will be your AV0 divided by M. Okay, because k is 0, so a, b, 0, divided by m1. So, okay, option. Uh, our a, b, 0 just now is stored in metric answer. So, in this model, you can store a, b, c, d, and okay, the population just now, a, b, not is stored in metric answer. So, call back the metric answer. So, you divide by okay, a, b, not is stored in metric answer, divide by m1, m1, which is Okay, M1 which is 7. That's why this column is actually MK plus 1. So you get the result 1, 1, okay, negative 1, 4, 2, 9. Yeah. So the process is repeated. You get now A, B, 1. You get here. You get, down, here. You get metric answer divided by your 7. You get B1. Now repeat back the process. Metric A, I, B. Metric answer because this one now is stored in metric answer. So you use A times metric answer. So options A is number three. Multiply options. Okay. The B one is stored in metric answer. So number one. So you get the result seven. Okay. Seven by one four two nine. Then okay. negative one point five seven one four. Obtain here. So after we obtain here the okay, MK plus 1, so now okay, this MK plus 1, this M1, this is M2. Okay, M2, the maximum value, the maximum absolute value is 7.1429. Okay, 7.1429. Okay, then now 7.1429. So to get your V number 2, V number 2, the okay, option takes the max answer. Okay, divide okay, the maximum value 7 
point one four two nine. Okay, so we get okay B number two zero point nine eight one negative zero point two two. So repeat again using A type metric answer because B two B two here is stored in metric answer. So your option. You get that matrix A, multiply uh, options, matrix answer. Okay, so you get 6.92, 7.16, okay, negative 1.88. So okay, the M3, M2. Okay, so I did M1, M2, M3, yeah, because this is MK plus 1. M number 3 is 7 point, maximum 7.16. So the V number 3 will be, okay, your A, V, 2, divide by 7.16, right? In this one, V3, V3 is A, V3, divide by M. So V3, V3, AV3, AV2 divided by M3. So AV2 is here. Okay, this is M3 divided by M3. Okay. So over here, so already okay, this one is a metric answer here. Divide 7.16. So you get here. Your beat number 3. One. Is okay. And then to get A, B, 3, so options, metric A, multiply, option, matrix, answer. Because your B number 3 is stored in metric answer. So you get 6.6.9, negative 2.0503. Okay, A, B, 3. Yeah. A, B, 3 is stored in metric answer. Okay, it's stored in metric answer. Okay, and then, okay, uh, the maximum value is 7.1620. 7 so, you iterate until absolute value of your MK plus 1. So, for example, this MK4 minus MK2 still greater than epsilon, that's why you still need to proceed to the next iteration. In the next iteration, get the metric answer divided by the max, maximum absolute value, which is divided by 7.162. So you get your, the next V, the next V is 0 0.95871, negative 0 0.2863. So I'm going to repeat A by metric answer. Option. A multiply options metric answer. So you get okay, A, B, number 4. This one is A, B, number 4. 6, okay, 6 8346 7 1622 and negative 1, 2.1451. Okay, the maximum value, the maximum absolute value, 7.1622. Okay, now we see split the last digit deeper by 2. Which is split modulus of, this is M5, yeah, plus MK plus 1. At step K4, this is M5, modulus of M5 minus M4, you get 0 0.002. Okay, 0 0.002. Which is less than 0 0.005. So the dominant eigenvalue, dominant eigenvalue will be the last MK plus 1, which is 7.162. Okay, and its corresponding eigenvector will be okay, V number 1, the last one. Okay, after you get this one, MK plus 1, because this M5, you got M5, you have to find uh, if you have M5, you have to find V5, V5. So, mean if V5 will be 1 over M5, A, V4. This one, find one more. So, take the metric answer here, divide 
So we stop. Okay, we stop because modulus of m number five minus m number four. Okay, we get zero point zero zero two less than zero point zero zero five. So the dominant eigenvalue will be m five. Okay, which is m five. From the one approximate equal to m five, which is equal to seven point one six two two. And its corresponding eigenvector is approximately equal to 3 at step number 5, where the value of vectors will be column with chicken to row, that's why transpose. Huh? 0 0.95431, negative 0 0.2995. Okay, so I repeat it again. Okay, to find the dominant eigenvalue using power method, is actually when you start with k0, we will get V at step number 1, which is 1 over M1 A B 0, where the M1 is a maximum absolute value of A B nodes. Okay, so we get V1, and then we can get V at step number 2, is 1 over M2 A B 1. Okay, the process is repeated until Modulus of the mk plus 1 minus mk less than epsilon. Okay, the dominant eigenvalue is the last value, which is mk plus 1. Corresponding eigenvector, okay, v1 is a vk plus 1. Okay, and then we just keep, use a matrix board to do the matrix multiplication quickly. So we input the a into the matrix below. Input the v as matrix b. And then, we use okay, A multiply B to get your A B naught. If of A B naught determine the maximum absolute value which is 7, to get B1 will be your A B naught divided by M1. So means okay, A B naught is actually you store A B naught is store in metric answer. Straight away you metric answer divide by the okay, M K plus 1. So you divide M K plus 1, so that will be in your B1. B1 is stored in metric answer. So to find the A B1, you will take max A multiply max answer. Okay. First time is A multiply B. It determines your M1. Okay. A B not stored in max answer. Max answer divided by M7 to get A B1. Okay. To find A B1, it takes um, A times max answer. Okay, determine the maximum value. Okay, then we get the next V, take the max answer divided by okay, MK plus 1, we get the next V. We get the next AB, okay, ABK, take the A multiplied max answer. The process is repeated okay, until max, okay, absolute value of MK plus 1 minus MK less than epsilon. Okay, the eigenvalue will be the last value here, is a lambda 1. And the last value here, this is your B1. B1. Lambda 1 is the dominant eigenvalue, and B1 is a, the B subscript 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. Okay, with this, thank you for your attention.